Hi, this is my build video of the right wing set 3. First I'm going to show you what comes in the kit. Here's the main fuselage, wing halves, chloroplast pieces, elements, carbon and glass, motor mount and hardware to connect the wings to the fuselage. In addition to this I also bought the laminate hardware to connect the control surfaces to the servos and carbon fiber mobius mount. These three items are not included in the kit. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is install the carbon sleeves to connect the wing halves to the fuselage. Uh, this is a very critical part of the bill and it needs to be absolutely right. Now I will show you how to prepare the carbon fiber sleeves for the wing joiners and how to mount them in the wings and the fuselage. First of all, remove the wing joiners from the sleeves and put them in a safe place so you don't inadvertently cut them when you're cutting the sleeves. Now I'm going to prepare them so that the glue will stick to the surface. Now I'm going to measure and cut the sleeves. Before you do this, please remember to remove the wing joiners from the sleeves, otherwise you will cut them too. Now I will cap off one of the ends so that I won't get glue into the sleeve. I will repeat this on the three other sleeves that goes into the wing. Before I install the sleeves into the wings I just scuff the grooves a little bit with sandpaper. Next I just put a small amount of CA into the grooves and just drop in the sleeve. I repeat this with all six sleeves. Now I carefully slide in the wing joiners.
Now that everything lines up, I can start filling up with some larger volumes of CA. <coughs> Making sure not to get any glue where the wing, wing, wing joints to the fuselage. Now I will let it harden for a few minutes before I disassemble it again. Now I'm going to install the motor mount on the set 3. I'll be using 15 minute cure epoxy. It's absolutely perfect. I will let it rest for about half an hour. Now the motor mount is fully cured and uh, the alignment is just perfect. Now it's time to install the reinforcement bars of fiberglass into the fuselage. So first I'm going to tack down the fiberglass bars with cyanoacrylate uh, towards the nose. I got the battery here just to balance the rods. Because the CA is so thick it will need uh, uh, quite a lot of time to cure before I can bend down the rods and glue them all the way. So I'm just putting the fuselage aside. Now I can start installing the glass fiber spars in uh, the wing. Now the glue have dried for about 15 minutes, maybe 20, and I will try to glue down the rods towards the tail end of the airplane. masking tape around all the channels that I'm going to fill with PU glue. Uh, I'm also going to fill the channels for the navigation lights as I won't be using any lights on the plane just for some extra rigidity.
this is the hardware to connect the wings to the fuselage. These four pieces go on the wings. These four pieces go on the fuselage. These O-rings of course holds the wings to the fuselage. So I'm going to put these aside. There's a right and a left piece uh, aileron, but these are not assigned yet. But later on it's very important to remember that you don't want two equal, you want two opposites. Start by measuring 46 centimeters. I can't find any exact measurements, so I'm just uh, eyeballing the dimensions from a picture from Chris uh, on my computer but I will give you the measurements I use thirty one millimeters from the trailing edge. As mentioned, I have the top side of the L1 down and I go straight down with the knife just to get the right angle on the cut. About 14 centimeters from here to here. So I couldn't find the measurements anywhere so it's just eyeballing. So if you want to use my measurements that's up to you of course. So 
So now I'm going to make the other yellow one. Now it's important to make a mirror of this one. So hopefully now I got the right and the left L1. Yeah. Now I'm going to do some shaping with uh, block and sandpaper. Uh, the front side of the L1 is a little, little bit too thick compared to the trailing edge of the wing. So I'm going to remove some material from the bottom side on both. Uh, I'm also going to bevel this edge here a little bit. about a millimeter or a little deeper yeah now I removed about one and a half maybe two millimeters of the thickness and I removed the material from the bottom of the elevon. And uh, before I start beveling here, I will uh, copy this shape over to this one by sanding down. It's easier to get them identical if I do one step on both elevons. Now I will start beveling. So I'm beveling the underside edge of the leading edge. Yeah. yeah. From the pictures I've seen, I think the other ones should look something like this when finished. I'll just bevel the other side. So there's your left and your right side elevon. Just using this Allen key to punch a hole where I want the USB connector to be. And now I'm going to start working on bottom uh, mounted Mobius. It's 
going to sit like this and point backwards and downwards. to get it in whole centimeters. Seven. A bit steeper. Eight. Since I'm already working with the heat gun, I can make the hole for the US, USB cable. Plastic thing here is slightly different on different USB cables, but I think this one is quite regular. Next I will make holes for all the cables. I will be using these metal tools and a heat gun to melt the plastic.
So that's both servos and GPS installed. Now I'm going to uh, solder the current sensor to the XT60 male connector uh, that fits the battery. I'm also going to solder the ESC to the current sensor. I think I have a plan how to do this. PU glue around the XT60 male plug have dried overnight, so now it should be easy to do a one-handed battery change like this. Makes it it easier if you're holding your plane with your left hand, and you, then you can just plug it in. Also I've soldered the ESC to the motor wires, uh, the motor I installed about one and a half centimeters further back than it's supposed to, this is just to help me get the correct CG. Um, also I'm using quite short cables because I'm going to install the EEC about here so I will need to cut off just a little bit of foam here to see is how I install this plate that's just for the battery of course I will use this transmitter with the case uh, because of course it, it works as a heatsink. A lot of people uh, just disassemble it and just use the box inside and put uh, a heatsink on top of that and they save about almost a hundred grams of weight. So uh, uh, it's up to you how you do it but uh, I've decided to use it with the heatsink.
also here's the carbon sleeve I can't go through that I'll just make a surface channel much easier Before I glue this in I will of course laminate, then I just cut the laminate, put in the cable and patch it up again with just a small strip of laminate. Before I start laminating I'm just going to put down some white acrylic paint along these yellowish lines not going to paint the whole surface but just make it look a little bit better and I'm going to use Two of these on the left wing tip. This is because these are quite heavy, so uh, I will use these to counterbalance the video transmitter. On the right wing, I'm going to use thumb screws too to attach the wing tip, but I'm going to uh, just make holes, uh, lubricate these put them into the uh, into some wet glue and hopefully I get perfect threads into the foam This concludes the wingtips. Center of gravity is very important on all plane, but especially on flying wings like the set three. Uh, the center of gravity should be uh, 197 millimeters from this point here and backwards. Uh, all the way to about 203 millimeters so there's just six millimeters from potentially nose heavy to potentially tail heavy that's very narrow so uh, I will do this very precisely
So this is the line that's uh, 197 millimeter from the leading edge of the wing. Now I'll make a mark at 203 millimeter. millimeter. So I, I'm adding six millimeters. So this will of course show through the lamination and help me balance the plane afterwards. Now I will start mounting the receiver antenna for the Dragon Link receiver. So here's the receiver. It will of course sit in the left bay. I have to do some clever geom geometry here to make everything fit. I bought these two from Ready Made RC, so just SMA extensions. slit so that this can move in and out inside of the foam. Now I should be able to make a loop tuck the loop inside here. And I won't even need any glue to hold this in place. So I'll just mount it off the lamination and I can it's perfectly detachable. Now I will glue in the nuts to hold the bolts to hold down the hatches in the side base.
like this. It's time to assemble the tough UAV tough mod. So it's uh, really a camera mount for the Mobius and the flight cam. So with my previous um, camera box I'll have to do some modification because uh, there's nothing holding this camera in uh, uh, in a correct orientation and it's very important with the flight camera that it's straight because otherwise you're not flying straight so I'll do a little modification there. I found some plywood scraps and I made two narrow strips. Uh, and I will use these to make supports hold the camera in, in the right orientation. Now the camera is supported, the flight camera. So I'll have to do a small modification because of the where the cable goes on the camera. Sort of hits this carbon here. So I'll just hacksaw it off. So now I can plug the cable for the camera. Next I'll have a look at the Mobius. As mentioned it's not a tight fit here so uh, if you're using it like this you'll have to make sure before every flight that it's aligned correctly. That is if you care about that sort of thing. But I'm going to make it so that it permanently sits in place without sliding side to side. The Tough Mob Mobius mount is finished. I used some black uh, permanent marker to just make these ply pieces look better. And uh, there's no slop anymore, either in the flight camera or the Mobius. I'm getting ready to laminate the airplane. Uh, before I laminate I will be using this spray glue it's from uh, just a local arts and crafts store. I've given everything a once over with sandpaper just to remove any high spots. And I also use masking tape to cover up places I don't want any spray glue. 
Um, before I spray glue, I will just give it a little clean up with some um, pressurized air just to get all the dust off all the surfaces. Uh, on the elevons, I'll be using solar film. On the fuselage and wings, I'll be using laminate from ReadyMade RC.